ഹോസ്പിറ്റൽ <laughs> <laughs> ignorance or maybe lack of knowledge on the part of the treating person because if you treat DK patient will come out of DK first major lesson is that there will be a perspiratory infarction so figure out if there is an infection if there is infarction ok CVA or ACS yes, very very important mm-hmm. once you figure out that and if there is something like that you figure it out then go for treatment treatment mm-hmm. is all about fluids uh-huh. you have to give as much fluids as possible so we generally say that the fluid deficit in DK will be around 9 liters, 9 liters. ok so try to replace first 3 liters as quickly as possible mm-hmm. inside the first 3 mm-hmm. hours itself then you take your own little time 3 year 3 liters in another 6 hours and then the 3 liters in another 12 hours, 12 hours. and along with that give the start dose of 0.1 unit per kg insulin and then 0.1 unit per kg per hour insulin then so sure. first give 15 units then give mm. 5 units Fine. per hour then give 3 units per hour mm. give 1 unit per hour that time overlap with 15 subcutaneous regular insulin right, right, right. and then continue the patient on regular insulin so this overlap uh, 40 units what you do actually when you do an overlap we don't know the patient before then we ah. assume that everybody's pancreas produces 40 units okay. so i will first replace with 40 40 units, units. 40 units i'll repeat divided into 888 regular so ah. that's 24 units plus 16 and 16 units large in at night okay. or you can give nph two times 88 also okay. so like that you give and then you see for every day six values ah. pre lunch post lunch pre dinner post dinner pre breakfast post ah. breakfast and depending on the value you mix small small titrations in okay. for the nutrients and potassium and all that we have to correct yeah potassium of ah. course is very important and i actually did not say because it goes without saying so <laughs> like he, when you are actually starting insulin for dk you mm. must be having a baseline potassium mm. and in that baseline potassium you can actually see for what is happening to potassium mm. or don't check for every 2 liters of fluid you are giving 1 liter of fluid mm. you are giving you want to find out one ampule of kcl kcl okay that will be oh. actually equal to 1 ml equal to 2 ml equivalent and 10 ml so that is oh. 20 ml equivalent oh. that you take care if you don't want to do like that you mm. have to have the facility to keep on checking potassium mm. which in many places is not there not there so that way if you keep on checking potassium and potassium is 3.5 4 4.5 mm. you don't need not actually mm. replace that depends on where the patient starts patient's baseline is only 3 means you will definitely go for high go for high. some people have baseline 5 4.9 uh. they may not actually go for high uh. so that we don't know. don't know so the better thing is to actually liter. keep for high okay so i remember two lines from your video one is there is nothing called as dk without a precipitating factor yeah that's very important uh, so and in our setting always look for infection hmm. because we are seeing lot of diabetic patients with pyelonephritis pyelonephritis that can precipitate dk Pressure. diabetic patients with diabetic pyelonephritis again that can precipitate dk hmm. and second line is if i ask you what is uh, dk management and if you say insulin then leave all this and go somewhere else yeah yeah i so think you have to jump from <laughs> the seventh <laughs> floor that <laughs> okay. is what i used to say previously yeah. then some people got offended, offended. with that so we changed this Same. so okay. initially i used to say ki jump from the seventh floor but it's not right to <laughs> say like yeah, yeah. so that is why ki because if you don't hydrate the patient then what is the use yes. sugar being such a, i mean glucose being such a powerful powerful solute <laughs> it will draw all the water from the cell hmm. that means that you are seeing only the intravascular In- intracellular intracellular degeneration is so much so, so so much so your cells are all dying without getting water yeah. and here you are sitting without giving water yeah, means water. what is the point is so it? you have to hydrate. so only see where insulin deficiency cannot do anything you need counter regulatory exactly the pathogenesis of dk itself is that that means it is a combination yeah. insulin deficiency with counter regulatory so basically the whole point is that even if you don't know the don't pathology know. Give fluids, give fluids. Give fluids, give yeah, fluids. Yeah. Even if you have a delay in giving insulin, nothing will nothing happen. But if you don't give fluids, it means you lose the patient. Okay. okay, and also yeah. start antibiotics depending on what is the infection. Yeah. That is also very important. Right. Take ECG, that is also very important. Mm. See to it that he moves all the limbs because mm. it can be scoped. So, so please look out for that. Okay, thank you so much sir. Okay. Yeah. yeah.